Hey, hey, the hey. podcast is ready. It's so ready. Welcome back. It's Malika and Adam time. That's right, <laughs> M.A. It's time for Ma. <laughs> it's Ma time. Strap in, kids. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, team Long Pot Shoes. That's right. Yeah. This summer, Team Long Pot Shoes <laughs> will take over the world. Should we get our own emote? Screw Zach. We're going to get our own emote. It's going to It's stacked. It's going to say Long Pot Shoes. Are you a member of Long Pot Shoes? Say, what's up in the chat room? Clubhouse Long Pot Shoes. <laughs> coming soon to Speaking a Discord of, near you. Um, we've been having a little bit of technical issues. Uh, the computer has been kind of freaking out a little bit over there. <clears> so <throat> if we do go away, we do apologize. But it does not mean we love you any less. That's so right. Also, I'm going to get this out there. Uh, thank you so much to all our mods. Can we show some, Happy like, Mod Day. Yeah, some love. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Uh, 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 you, you shut uh, your mouth over there. Yes, uh, you may not be sure, but Alexa, I am 110% sure that I love you guys, and I love the mods. We have more than doubled our content here yeah. at Hyper RPG, which means they have been doing double time, making sure our community is happy, healthy, and well-informed. So thank you. Thank you so, so much. A well-oiled machine. Yeah. No, but really, we really appreciate it. You know, I know it's been, a, it's been a lot of work on us, and you guys have been great support, and doing all the clips and porting stuff over to YouTube when we need it has been super, super helpful. And just all the help with just helping run stuff. And they have fast fingers. Have you yeah. noticed this? You know, like, for example, I could say something like, um, it was a lot of fun playing that Cowboy Bebop board game last week. And if you want to get it, find the link in the <laughs> chat room. Oh, yeah. I can do that. I can do that because yeah. of the mods. And yeah. that helps us so, so much. Yeah, I mean, even just on, you know, and I, I, we have mods on YouTube as well, but, you know, like, I we never kind of, like, encourage them to go over there, but they always just automatically, like, I see Jay Pistol mm -hmm. and other people in the chat room all the time telling people, like, okay, we're going to go on live on Twitch after, like, make sure you jump over, and that's that's super helpful. That That's just, like, one extra step of stuff that we don't have to do that that is really appreciated. They're so self-organized. Yeah, and wash your goddamn hands. <laughs> Um, yeah, so welcome. So as you can see, Zach is not here. Zach is over by the computer. But do we really miss sure him? Uh, <laughs> Team Long Paw Shoes. That's right. But he's just making sure that <laughs> everything, that everything uh, you know, uh, works and is uh, fully functioning and fully operational like a good, good Death Star employee. Speaking of a good Death Star employee, um, I guess we should go over what we are doing mm -hmm. today. Hypercast with Team Long Paw Shoes. Pew, Woo! pew. Survival skills at... Uh, two. two. One hour. Oh my goodness! Time has has kind of like <laughs> melted <laughs> together, <laughs> and uh, I'm uh, the theme for that one is grazing is amazing, and we're going to be doing a lot of little finger foods mm. because I feel like with time being all like, <laughs> all over the place. it's like, is it lunch? Is it dinner? Am I yeah. hungry? Am I not? So sometimes it's fun to make a lot of little foods to graze on. So true, we're going to be true. making three different snacks. Oh hell yeah! Three different snacks, and we're going to be snacking all day long. And then after that, what are we doing? After that, at 4 o'clock, we're playing... Unstable Unicorns. Unicorns! Is this even... Is this collaborative? Team Long Pachus is going to win. That's right. That's <laughs> Here right. Here we go. Unstable Unicorns, a strategic card game about your two favorite things, Malika and Adam. Actually, Unicorns and Destruction. Oh, hell yeah. All right, which one of us is Destruction and which one of us is Unicorns? <laughs> That's a good question. That's yeah. an excellent question. And uh, then, then at 6 o'clock, we're going to be doing a... I call it a watch play. I don't know if that's the appropriate term of the complex and you FMV. It's like an interactive. It's called a let's play. Oh, is that what they call it? Yeah, them? it's actually called Well, one. fuck me then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's going to be a great opportunity for, for us to kind of go through the, st the story of the complex. And you will then be able to engage and interact with uh, the show as well. Because so what happens, you have a prompt. Kind of like if you saw Post Ghost, it's very similar. Mm -hmm. You have a prompt with options, and then you will help us to kind of decide how we're going to navigate through the story. So I'm pretty excited to experience that. I've never done and that yet. And we have giveaway keys oh, shit. from the publisher. That's right, Wales Interactive. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Uh, so make sure you tune in if you want some stinkies. Yeah, and if Zach is not exhausted by the end of that, 
And maybe we'll do Death Stranding. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe. But or maybe I, we'll keep playing the complex. Yeah, or maybe we'll just you keep guys doing that. I, don't, I have no clue how long that usually takes. If that's like a two-hour thing or like a five-hour thing. Well, it depends on how long it takes for you to, to make up your minds, that's chat true. room. That's very, very true. That's very, very true. Uh, last night, we had a lot of fun watching Tremors. We ended up watching Tremors and Tremors 2 Aftershocks. And for part two, uh, Bert jumped in. Yeah. And he zoomed into the call, which I thought was really, really fun. It and was really, like really an cool. old roommate, like an old hype house uh, kind of reunion. It was. It was. And I, I honestly did not realize how big of a fan of the Tremors franchise he was. <laughs> he has the party pack. Of the first four movies. I mean, Bert is a <laughs> mystery because he's like, you know, he he looks, I think, kind of tough. Yeah. What you know, just kind of the way he holds his body yeah, and he's wearing yeah. camo, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy to shoot me, and he's got a tattoo of the Death Star on his leg. At the same time, he's a big snuggly bear. Yeah, and he has like a the cutest little puppy dog, the and he's like, pack. oh, so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's no, a lot of hilarious. fun. And he loves Game of Thrones. And the way he yeah. shares his Game of Thrones love is collecting like cute little Funko Pops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I kind of wish that something like Game of Thrones was on Netflix because I would totally hit up Bert and be like, hey, man, let's do a watch along of season one together. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I think that would be uh, that would be super fun. Because he's been wanting me to watch the whole thing. And I have the whole series on Blu-ray. I just haven't even opened it yet. Speaking of, I would love to understand Game of Thrones through Bert's eyes. Yeah. And then Emily's eyes. Oh, oh. God, we should just do a four-way watch along with those. Because when that theme song hits, Emily's like, "Yeah, da na 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 na," and I'm like, "Whoa, I, I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't understand until yeah, now." I know, I know. <laughs> uh, and then for the rest of the week, so I, I put out, I, I put out a graphic. I need to retweet it uh, on on Hyper Socials as oh, well. I'm on it. Uh, <laughs> it's our it's our dinner and a movie schedule for the rest of the week. So today we're doing the complex. Tomorrow. Get your pizzas ready because we're doing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 1990 with special guest Andre Meadows. We'll be zooming in to our watch along. That'll be a whole lot of fun. Uh, We've been singing the Ninja Turtles theme song here for the last, now it's day two. So uh, expect more of that. And then on Thursday, we'll be doing, we'll continue our watch along of Cowboy Bebop, the second part. we, We don't know exactly how many episodes we'll get through, but we'll try to get through as many as we can. And on Friday, we're going to close out the week with our watch along of Christopher Nolan's Inception. We're going to be so incepted. We're going to be so incepted. Uh, I definitely did. Get your tag, brains ready. I definitely did tag the visual effects, uh, um, visual effects supervisor uh, from Inception Interstellar on this tweet just Ooh. to see if maybe he'd be like retweet it and or be like, oh, this looks fun. I'm like, cool. You want to zoom in? Internet make it Come happen. Come on, Paul J. Franklin. Internet make it happen. Uh, yeah, I, I'm actually really excited to rewatch. Uh, both Ninja Turtles and Inception, because I, I've even though I've seen Ninja Turtles pretty recently, uh, it's been a couple of years since I've sat down and actually watched Inception from from covereth to covereth. So I'm very excited Me to too. sit down and watch that again. Speaking of movies, we have a cool new incentive we started yesterday where you guys yeah. get to vote on what you want to watch along with us. Yes. Yeah, what are the movies? Because nobody told me. Uh, well, we can. I'll, I'll we'll figure that out after. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So, so you, you can't see the overlay now. We, mm-hmm. we usually don't have it up until the movie itself. But yesterday, we had uh, The Evil Dead, Cloverfield, and Final Destination. And as much as Bert tried to uh, help tie it out and uh, go the completely against the grain and pick a different movie, uh, The Evil Dead ended up winning. So we will be doing a screening of The Evil Dead next Congrats. Monday. And then uh, you know we'll update the one-shot store after this and let you know what the choices will be for next Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So that'll be a whole lot of fun. Um, yeah, so we're just going to continue doing that uh, every single week. And then every 500, every time we hit 500, we're going to be picking winners to join Luke's Clubhouse. Yeah. The Cookie Clubhouse, I think is what <laughs> we're calling club. it. The Cookie Club. <laughs> uh, that'll be a whole lot of fun. He'll be your counselor this week. Next week, it'll change. It'll either be myself or Malika, and then we'll just can kind of continue doing we that. We can roll another uh, D4 or something. Yeah, That's yeah. what I did to uh, pick Lucas a, this oh, week. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. You know you can Google roll a D4, and that's, oh, I'm, I'm that's sure. how I did it. That's, that's what Google's there for, yeah. to literally do everything. You could probably also ask friend computer over there. I don't trust that thing. Yeah. I don't trust that thing. She's not listening to me That right thing now. was farting all day oh yesterday. Oh, my goodness gracious. That was... That was a thing. What so, secrets will they unlock today? I know, I know. So as you all know, you know we're not we're we're not doing the the music anymore for uh, copyright reasons. Um, so, but if you do want to activate Alexa, you know I think we have it turned off for this show in particular. But for the cooking stream and then for board games, uh, it'll be open and active, and you'll be able to ask Alexa to do whatever the hell you want. Oh well, okay. 
Text to speech doesn't work on the cooking Tech stream. Sounded I'm told. and looked so defeated. He was like, Text to speech doesn't work on the cooking stream. His shoulders were like this. His hand was like, oh. and then he just started walking up the stairs like this. Yeah. yeah. And then also, uh, every time we, every day that we hit our goal, uh, whether it's, you know, at the end of the day or midway through the day, whenever it is, we will continue to, to give away Steam and digital movie codes as well. Um, I have such a huge library of digital movie codes that I don't even know, like, where to start with this list, but it's, oh, it's I, pretty Oh, I have massive. some more to give to you, too. Mm, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I, I don't. So I don't use the digital movie codes no, because I because you rip them. I rip them and I put them on my Plex server, yeah. so I have no use for them. Yeah. So I'd rather give them away to yeah. you guys for participating and for being an active part of our audience, as opposed to just letting them go to waste and letting them uh, expire. So. Wait, those things expire. Yeah, they expire. W T. I know. I know. It's a couple of years. They usually take a like a year or two to expire, but but they do. They do. They're not. Uh, they're not invulnerable. They well, do. Well, uh, I guess nothing is forever. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, oh, also, thank you so much, Jabberwocky, for uh, letting everybody know on Discord that we are live. I was yeah. going to do that, and I ran out of time. Sometimes I forget to add everyone. I know. I know. So thank you for doing that. We do have a Discord. You can join today. Discord.gg/hyperrpg. We've got a ton of different channels for all the different things that we're doing, all the different shows. We've got a great active community on there as well. If you're just looking to talk about, you know, how you're dealing with everything that's happening in the world today. Uh, definitely jump on there. There's a lot of really great people. Speaking of keeping informed, I now do a weekly Quora newsletter. I don't, uh, I'm still workshopping that title. <laughs> but if you want to sign up for that, or if you think you've been missing them, there's yeah. a link in the chat room. You can sign up for that newsletter. It's similar to the one that goes to all our subscribers mm. that is sent through Twitch without fun gifts. So if you yeah. want the fun gifts, make sure you add that. And then it's it comes from... Um, I think events at hyperrpg.com. So add that. Uh, make sure it doesn't go to your spam folder. Additionally, if you want to keep track of everything and you like them Google calendars, we have a Google calendar you can add right now. Link in the chat room. I'm like crossing my fingers. Is this working? This is like, <laughs> it's like the trust <laughs> test where I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm falling backwards now. Mods catch me. I know. Uh, so check out that Google calendar and add it for yourself. And you can even uh, set your own little reminders. Yeah. Yeah, and we keep that calendar pretty updated. Granted, programming hasn't really changed in the last three weeks. We might change what we do during the time slot, but the actual time slot itself is going to be pretty consistent for the next three to four weeks uh, because we're on lockdown until April 30th, and who knows, that might extend into uh, a later date. So we're going to be here for a hot minute. Oh. So strap in. How many birthdays are going to be celebrated during this time? I Damn. mean, I think the next birthday is Lucas's, right? Is it? I think Maybe. It, yeah, I think it's tomorrow. Uh, no, I think Lucas's Soon. birthday is either Thursday or Friday. we got to look that up. And then Zach's in May. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we might. <Yeah. laughs> and then mine's not, mine's not until June. If we're still in lockdown until June, we're in big fucking trouble. We got <laughs> one hyper birthday for every month. Yeah. Get, holy shit. Get your birthdays Jesus, <laughs> ready. Jesus. Get your birthday wishes ready. Ready. I, yeah. I, yeah. Oh my God. That would yeah. be uh, that would be crazy. Let's 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 hope to God it doesn't come to that. But you know that's neither here nor there. Um, any other housekeeping that we need to uh, take care of, or did we cover everything? Uh, team Long Pot Cheers. Go. Um, oh, we also do have a new shirt. Yeah. Camp Social Distance T-shirt. We need to order that for ourselves. Yeah. We need to start pimping that stuff. If you go out. to hyperrpg.live, that's our Streamlabs account. You have access if you want to tip or donate towards the stream. You can do that there. And then we also have two versions of the shirt. One is a unisex cut and one is a, a, is a women's cut of the shirt yeah. as well. And it, there's multiple colors. I think sure. I think there's like a black, gray, white. And I think... I'm going for that navy. I th or navy. And I think I'm going to go navy I unisex. Think, I think the ladies also have like an orange or something? I can't remember. Right. I set it up. I forgot already. HyperRPG.live yeah. slash merch. Multiple colors, multiple sizes, multiple fits. Mm -hmm. And I know some people were saying like, oh, I don't know if they'll have my fit. The fits uh, go, they fit me. So you'll be fine. You'll be, you'll be all good oh, in the Oh, no, no, no. It's coral. Coral? Coral. In the W fit. Whatever that means. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no one can wear orange. How dare you? I'll wear orange. Uh. Maybe. Zach loves orange. He does. Have you have you not seen his orange pants? Yeah. Look. They're legendary. You have to add a spice of color just for Zach. Yeah. Because he doesn't care what cut the shirt is. He'll wear it no matter no. what. No. Uh, true story. The day I met Zach, uh, I had some T-shirts from my video game I was trying to promote. Mm -hmm. And he asked for what is like lady cut shirt because he said he preferred those. And so, yeah. Yeah. And then he like 
put it on. Then he's like, I feel like I'm shrink wrapped. And I'm like, that's. I feel like I can't breathe. I'm like, is that a good thing? I don't know about that. I don't know if that's a good thing. Uh, Also, something very unrelated that I'm excited about that no one else will care about is that every single Star Wars movie came out on 4K Blu-ray. And I definitely definitely bought the box set. Congratulations. Because that's priority right now. I'm an idiot. Because you're worth it. That's my new thing. Emily... I told Emily I wanted to buy this thing, yeah. and then I told her, you know what? I think I'm having second thoughts about buying this thing because I don't know if I should be if that's something I should be spending money on right now. She's like, "Look, you're working every day, long hours. Treat yourself." And I'm like, "I guess I'm not really buying anything else other than food." <laughs> Did we want to talk about what's happening in the next three days on Hypercast and how Twitch will be very extra special? Oh yeah. Okay, I think you should. <laughs> Are you going to say it? Or am I going to say it? We, we, I mean, we're not talking about the g- guests. Well, we have one confirmed guest, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, oh, okay. Well, You're the pressure's boss. on me. <laughs> You're All right. So the next three days, uh, be on your best lumper behavior, especially yeah. during Hypercast, because Twitch has agreed to help promote us maybe on front page during that time. And so, you know, with these things, it's never like a guaranteed time slot, but mm-hmm. they're going to try to promote us, which means we have a high likelihood of new possible members of the Thumper family. So be on your best Thumper behavior. Give them the nice, smiley Thumper buck tooth smile. The warm welcoming committee. Yeah, and and just uh, make them feel warm and welcome and nice because, you know, there's strength in numbers, and I'm excited to invite these people to the Warren. There you go, your rabbit talk. Um, Tomorrow, Wednesday? Tomorrow's Wednesday, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, our special guest for Jack... For (laughs) Jack... For Hypercast is Jack's Films. Woo! Thursday, we have the main actress and director of the complex mm-hmm. Skyping in or Zooming in or video yeah. conferencing in. Yeah. Uh, so we have a lot of cool special guests yeah. on Hypercast for front page of Twitch, which also means that we can't go live on YouTube because yeah. of uh, some partnership agreements. Which we stuffs. haven't been doing this week. Yeah. To be completely honest yeah. with you. Uh, we've just been uploading the Hypercast right after straight to YouTube. Um, but yeah, so we have those two amazing guests, Jack's Films tomorrow, um, and then the director and lead actress from The Complex on Thursday. And we're also working on some other really, really fun guests. We're just waiting on confirmation. So our hope is that, you know, because we have front page, we can kind of take advantage of having these really uh, cool, amazing guests to show people, you know, who are just going to be scrolling through front page, showing them what we're doing here. Because I think for us, you know, it's really, really important for us to be able to interact with our core audience because you're the ones that help us, that allow us to do this every single day. But we also want to make sure that we can bring in as many new people as well to join our Thumper family because that's really important for us uh, just in general, just as a company. You know, you want to be able to expand. You want to be able to grow. Yep. And I think it's really important to be able to reach new eyes. And, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of people out there right now who are looking for ways to engage with other people online because social distancing and they're looking for things to watch and they're looking for some something to spark their joy so hopefully that's what we do here every day for you so uh, as mario Con- marie kondo would say you know if you <laughs> if you pretend to touch us <laughs> if it sparks joy you should keep it in your life <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay. It's very. It made more sense in my head. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. I'm not. Oh, I'm not above that. Man. Um. But yeah. But in the meantime, you know, like, thank you guys so much for all your support. We really appreciate it. And you guys crushed the goal yesterday. And they I know. Super crushed yeah, it. Yeah. Super crushed the goal yesterday, which and, was hilarious. And during our uh, cooking stream, if we hit our cooking stream goal every day this week on yeah. Friday, you get a choice between. Uh, Blix from Legend or Rita Repulsa from Power Rangers oh, to come shit. cook in the kitchen. That's, I mean, come on. That's pretty damn good. I I think, like, she's going to be like Mrs. Doubtfire and the cone boobs are just going to be on fire and she's going to have... <laughs> just, just knocking like, everything just, over. Just like the um, the co- pot covers. Yeah. Like, oh, boop, 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 boop. Holy shit. Zach and I are going to be down here watching this stream just terrified every time. Of, like, cones, cones, watch the cones, watch the cones. Jesus Christ. 
So that's only going to happen if we hit our goal every day during cooking. So make sure uh, yeah, you get your hungry bellies up there and you watch some cooking streams with me. Yeah, that's that yeah. soup you made yesterday was delicious. Thank you. It was very blasphemous in my very opinion, good. which good. which is good sometimes. Yeah, but you know what? There's like just some mornings where like even I go up there and I'm like, oh, what do I have? I've got some sweet potatoes. I've got some eggs. I've got some kibasa. I've got some you know some yeah. onions. Wasabi, and shit. kimchi. Yeah, I just put in. I just put it into the uh, into the uh, cast iron and I, then I put it in the oven for five minutes and I'm like, yeah, that's breakfast. Yeah. Know, yeah. Um, did you know that there is now a little bit of a shortage of yeast in the country because I've heard people about that. have been rediscovering baking bread. I've seen so many people breaking baking, baking bread, bread yeah. on TikTok and Twitter. Yes. I'm proud of you yes. all, but God damn it, stop hoarding. Speaking of, uh, you know what that's called? Some people call it procasta breaking or procrasta baking oh. because they're like working from home and yeah. like, oh my boss is not here so yeah. let's just procrasta bake a little yeah. bit more i mean can i be honest with you ever since this whole thing has happened you know we've we like pretty much don't eat out we just yeah. like don't i think we've done it twice yeah. in the last three weeks i feel a lot well, it's better scary. it's scary mm. one but two i just like feel better yeah i feel better too yeah. Yeah, yeah uh i actually started something new last night i started listening to this podcast 10 percent happier i don't know mm -hmm. if you've heard of that podcast or book um but i like reconnected with my like yoga meditation mindfulness practice yeah because i think this is a very stressful time mm -hmm. and i did an hour of like yoga slash meditation yeah. last night this morning it was really crazy and my goal was to get 10 minutes in three minutes in zach was yelling my god and I don't know why. Uh, and then I found out it was okay. But I got 10 minutes of meditation in this morning. So, uh, you know. You know what's funny about that? What? My aunt is very much like Zach. Yeah. She just stomps around and sure. like would yell when things are not going yeah. right. I've learned so incredibly well to just ignore it. Sure. That I don't even notice it anymore. Right. I know. I feel bad because my mom is that way. Yeah. And uh, so I think it's like I can tolerate it. Like I have my ways to deal with it yeah but um you know zach's like why aren't you listening and i'm like well like the boy who cried wolf if everything is an emergency what's the real emergency mm. yeah. you know it's just like oh <gasps> so uh i, I don't know i, I think I've he been went upstairs to lay down <laughs> He did? A, I don't know. No, I think he's dealing with the cooking uh, stream. Setting up the stream. Because that also died yesterday. And, yeah. Um, you know, just... Look, it's a crew of three people. Yes. I'm going to be very upfront. Yes. If, you, if you're surprised that something breaks while we're on stream, don't be. Yeah. It's three people. And I'm, we're all on camera at the same time all day. It's bound to happen. Like, can, we'll fix it as fast as we can. Adam, can I tell you something as CEO of a live network, how yeah. I feel? Okay, every time I watch, like, live television, like, live news... Yeah. And they cut too early yeah. or too late and there's an awkward pause mm -hmm. or they like zoom in a guest and yeah. the guest can't hear him for a while yeah. or something. I'm like, oh my gosh, like if they are having those yeah. problems and they have millions of dollars yeah. like per episode and we are like streaming out of our garage and and like, you know, our dog is our fourth crew member yeah, or our right. fifth crew member. Um, like we're, we're doing fine. Yeah, we're so, doing fine. Uh, I mean, okay. You look at like, and it's, 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 it's like hard to compare because of the, um, scale, the, the engagement and yeah. like the scale and all that stuff. But you look at like John Krasinski's doing a new show on YouTube. He's using his fucking phone and he's editing it on his laptop. No one cares. It's just like, you can put it out there. You can put it out there. If we have one little glitch where a sound goes out, we'll be okay. Though, um, last night I watched John Oliver's show, which is a lot of fun. Oh, it's still great. And I thought it was great. I had a great time. Yeah. Um, and uh, apparently he's looking for, what is it, his name? Um, uh, York of Swords, like that, the artist with the mm -hmm. erotic rat art. Do you, do you guys oh, know what I'm talking no about? Idea. Okay, you got to watch the latest episode. Oh, um, I, haven't, oh I haven't watched it yeah, yet. Yeah. yeah. And he said that <clears throat> he recognizes that I'm... Um, Clearly, I'm at my house, and yeah. my house is just a white void with sad information. Um, 
but it's not the quality HBO was expecting to put out, and it's yeah. not the quality that people who subscribe to HBO expect. Right. And him being very real about that, yeah. I could relate to so much totally. where people are like, hey, when are tabletop RPGs coming back? Yeah. And the thing that we're kind of noodling around with is, you know, we think Hypercast looks pretty good because, you know, it's the full studio. We just rebuilt that pretty with good. your This help. shit looks better than 99% of the shit I watch on the internet. Pretty good. I'm, I'm trying to be <laughs> humble with the bragging. All right. I think it looks pretty damn I'm bragging. Good. It All looks right. really good. Um, but then we don't want it to suddenly like dip when it yeah. goes to like webcam quality. Yeah. And then it's between five different people and the audio levels are all over the place. Yeah. And you guys are used to not only sound effects, but now video effects mm -hmm. and special effects and incentives. And so uh, we don't like... You know, we're very proud here. I'm very proud of myself and my team and everything that we have done together over the last four years. And it's hard to just be like, well, this is the best we can do right now. Sorry. Yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. still continue to ask the audience for their time. Mm -hmm which is extremely important to me, you know, and their money. Uh, I'm going to share a, a little bit of a Chinese proverb, okay? So maybe you, you understand me a little bit more. Okay, some Chinese wisdom from Grandma Malika. I don't have any children. I don't have any grandchildren, but I'm working on it. Um, you have a dog. It counts, right? <laughs> so when Kaiju adopts a puppy, yeah. then I'll be a grandma, yeah. right? <laughs> um, so they say a stitch of time is worth a stitch of gold. But you can't buy a stitch of time with a stitch of gold. So, you know, all of you who are like, you know, you comment like, I can't financially, you know, support you guys right now, even though I want you to. Oh, my goodness. Your time with us is the number one most valuable thing. And yeah. we thank you from the bottom of your hearts for spending time with us. And it's not like a one way street. You know, I get a lot of enrichment yeah. from you spending your time with us, too. And. There are some very sweet community members, and they tweet a, at us at the end of pretty much every live stream yeah. just saying thank you, yeah. and it just makes us feel so seen. Oh, I mean, if we didn't have this every day, I know we would find other things to do. There's always stuff to be done, but this helps the time go by so fast. Yeah, yeah. Which, like, in most cases, I don't like that. I like feeling like I have a lot of time to get a lot of stuff done. But in this current situation that we're in, get me the fuck out of here. And you guys are definitely helping, you know, helping speed that process up. Uh, uh, except for when they keep extending the damn day on for how long we're going to be on house arrest. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, it's working, though. I guess yeah. uh, maybe we can transfer sure. to some news. I saw, I think it was, was it Santa Clarita? Mm -hmm. That fever is down 60% nice. since social distancing started. And I'm like, it's working. So just a reminder, when you see those like empty streets and stuff, yeah. that is humanity banding together to be like, we're in this together and we're going to, we're going to do our best to just try to minimize how awful this virus right. is. So, right. I mean, just, I'm just trying to focus on those kinds of things because even like preliminarily, mm -hmm. you know, it's starting to change things. So just stay inside, yeah. do your part, earn your gold star and wash your damn hands. Yeah. Wash your damn hands. I don't have the trigger for the uh, for that overlay. Otherwise, oh, I would push I, it. I think. Oh God. Oh God. I don't want to break <sighs> shit. Should I? Well, hold on. Zach's Zach's probably upstairs. Should listening I push going, it? Malika, don't touch it. it. All right. Three, Malika, two, oh, God. one. It did nothing. Okay. It was not responsive. Okay, I think words. his screen is frozen. Okay. Okay. Here, it's like this. Wash um, your hands, wash your hands, so I'm gonna wash go, your hands. Wash your goddamn hands. Yeah. I'm going to go a little a little bit out of order um, okay. about the stuff that I want to bring up, but because you talk, because you brought up uh, uh, the fever stuff, I think it yeah. was there's a really good article that's on Vox mm -hmm. right now. Um, let me link it in the chat room. About what information to follow because it's hard. Uh, this one was great because yeah. I think there's been a lot of – Cases and articles written about how to deal with groceries yes. when you go to the store and yes. how to like deal with the act of shopping for yeah. groceries. And I thought this was a, a really, really well-made article because I know a few days ago there was a video that came out. Yeah. And I, I, yes, and it was I trending. Up, I ended up not watching it yes. because Zach told me that it was debunked. So I, why would sure. I waste my time? I, uh, I still watched it because yeah. it was trending at the time I watched it. 
It was number 17 on YouTube. Mm. And then my mom shared it to me. So I knew like a lot of people were using this as information. And it was a long video that was over 13 minutes long. Yeah. And it took me to a dark place because it was so like obsessive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like washing your fruit and vegetables with soap and water, which yeah. has kind of been debunked by a lot of other scientists and doctors. Yeah. But it was just like a lot to take in. And it, it just was, it made me so anxious. Yeah. This article was really, really great. And what I liked about it was it talked about all of those types of things. You know, should you be washing the packaging? Should you be washing your, your vegetables excessively? All this and all that. They did talk about how as of right now, they haven't been able to find a way for the virus to be transferred through food. Yeah. As of now. Mm -hmm. That could change in an hour. I don't know. Um, so they, But they did say it's, like, it's not necessary to wash the packaging. It's not yeah. necessary to – outside of like your normal wash, washage, yeah. uh, you shouldn't have to wash your um, fruits, vegetables, or anything any more than you would on a regular basis. Yep. Uh, all that kind of stuff. So they're saying any of that type of thing when it comes to like if you're touching stuff, they're just saying be smart about it. Use gloves. If the store has, you know, those like vegetable plastic yeah. bags, use those to grab stuff. Don't yeah. don't use your bare hand. You know, be smart about it. Um, be considerate to the other people who are shopping who might see you grab something with your bare hand. And then they're like, well, I don't want to buy that because I yeah. have no idea what that person does or doesn't I have. I think it also had a great, um, whatchamahoosit, uh, recommendation that mm. if you have some kind of touchless pay system like yes. Apple Pay, yes. Samsung use Pay, use that so that you're not touching money, you're yes. not counting change. Um, if you're at a checkout counter, that person now has reduced kind of contact with you. Yeah. So I think that's really kind of exciting. Yeah, for sure. And and, and the one other big thing they said was like the, one of the most important things that you can do to minimize your interaction with people and and your time out is to plan ahead. Yeah. And I know right now that's that can be really difficult because a lot of stuff like you have no idea what to expect will be in yeah. or out of stock. So you might have to make adjustments on the fly. But I would say if you are going to go to the store, I would say try to list out as much as you can that you absolutely need. And they definitely recommended picking up enough stuff to last you two to three weeks yeah. as long as you know it can actually last that long uh because they want they don't they're not discouraging people from going to the grocery store in the article at all but they are saying look if you need to go go get enough stuff that you have food for two to three weeks if you can and then that way we we can minimize the amount of people going to the store at once that way you know if you need to be six feet away from people you can still accomplish that because we're not having as many people go to the store at the same time um just be very considerate use a plastic bag or, or gloves to grab groceries that are bare, like fruits and vegetables and all that sort of stuff. The other thing they did say was a lot of people have been sort of concerned and asking about the use of reusable bags, whether yeah. or not that's a good idea. They yeah. say you can totally use reusable bags. Just avoid placing them down on the floor if you don't yeah. have to. Um, and when you get home, if you want to take extra precautions, most of those bags are machine washable in cold water. So wash your bags, wash, wash your, bags, your bags, wash, wash your, your bags. bags. Or they said <laughs> you can also use, um, you know, any sort of uh, disinfectant to wipe them down yeah. after you come home. So yeah. just, just try to plan ahead as much as you can. And I know it's tough because, you know, these guys have gone out to the grocery store on multiple occasions and have tried to find stuff and it's gone, you know, mm, or it's, or it's yeah. limited. So you might yeah. have to like really pre-plan and figure out what you want to do. Like I know things still like toilet paper, a lot of disinfectant stuff, eggs, you know, that's all still harder to come by. Milk now too. Yeah, milk. Yeah. Uh, Yeast, but, but, but they bread. are saying, yeah, but they are saying that hopefully um, over the course of the next couple of weeks, those things that a lot of people normally don't buy all yeah. the time will start to kind of even out. But expect things that kind of have like a long shelf life to yeah. be gone more often. Yeah. Things like peanut butter, they said was a big one. Um, another one, I went to an Asian grocery store yeah. on Saturday mm -hmm. and tofu was limited too. Uh, okay. But this grocery store, everything was in stock, but mm -hmm. everything was super um, limited. Mm -hmm. So there was only one package of eggs. If you want to buy the six, the 12, the 18, 24, whatever, you can only buy one. Any kind of milk, you could only buy one. So if it was a carton of dairy milk yeah. or a carton of oat milk, you could only buy one. Tofu, the same thing. But they had a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to see more of that kind of rationing yeah. so that everything is available and, you know, you can't buy like a gajillion yeah. of one thing. And like, look, I know it can be probably very frustrating when you go to the store and things like yeast or, you know, mm -hmm. flour, like those types of products yeah. to make things are, sure. are not available. Yeah. 
And I, I'm sure that grocery stores were not prepared for that yeah. because to them, they're like, oh, no one's going to spend the time to bake bread because no one has the time. But now, because everybody has the time, I'm actually, I am happy to see people sure. making more stuff. Yeah, I love that. You kind know, of like stuff. I think it's great. Even things like they were saying that there's like there's going to be soon a, a shortage of pasta, mm-hmm. and you know, pasta is one of those things that you can kind of, you can store for a very long time. Yeah. Um, but but I, you can make your own. But I do think that it's great that people are doing more of that stuff because I think we we've kind of live in a culture now where um, not everyone, not everybody, but there's a big amount of people who constantly rely on ordering out, ordering out, going out to dinner. And like, I've been guilty of that sometimes too. Like there might be four days out of the week where I'm like, I don't feel like making anything, but I think it's so useful and beneficial for the long term of your life to learn how to cook something. And I, th- and I think for people like me, and I've seen a few people in the chat room, yeah. it's been a time for me to re, uh, re kind of check in with my own like cultural heritage yes. and like my grandma who brought me up yeah. yesterday, we're doing some Polish recipes. Um, I've always been enamored by people who can do those hand pulled noodles. Yeah. And I did it for the first time last week and they were pretty good. Yeah. They were pretty good. So, uh, yeah, encouraging you to do that. And then upstairs when I start cooking at two, um, showing you how to make your own dumpling wrappers. Mm -hmm. And I have tried this before gluten-free and, uh, regular old wheat dumpling wrappers as well. I'm going to show you how to do it. And I I was thinking also of doing biscuits because there are some breads where you don't need yeast and you can make delicious, you know, like Southern style biscuits. Oh my Mm -hmm. God. All right. We're ending the stream early. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Um, But yeah, I mean, even for me, I I never realized how much I enjoyed cooking until I started doing it. And the biggest thing that I accomplished this, was it this year? Was it late last year? Uh, was I made my grandma's potato salad. Yeah, I know. You were so proud of yourself. Oh, my God. And you made like a huge bowl well, and you're eating it with a big spoon. Yeah, well, because for like 32 years yeah. of my life, it'd been this thing that like I'd always come home to. And I'm like, oh, I'm never going to be able to make it. And then I make it, made it. And I was like, oh, fuck, I'm making this again. And for me, it's very uh, fun as a challenge to recreate a recipe from memory. Yeah. Um, right now, the New York Times last week put out an article that said, uh, now is not the time for recipes. Now mm-hmm. is the time to make food of whatever you have. Yeah. So, you know, just kind of having this memory that will motivate you mm-hmm. and just kind of piecing it together with whatever you have. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what I've been doing with certain meals. I'm yeah. like, yeah, just whatever I have. And Oh, that was the other big thing that they did say in this article. They said, uh, if you're going to get stuff for two to three weeks, don't go to the grocery store until you've completely emptied out yeah. everything that you have. Like right. every last can of beans, every last can of corn, whatever it is, please, please, please use it all up. Because they said there's a lot of people who are, they'll run out of eggs or run out of one thing and they'll go to the store and they'll rebuy a bunch of shit yeah. they already have. Yeah. And that's what kind of like leads to a lot of mm-hmm. shortages. Because if one person does that, then of course millions of people are going to be doing mm-hmm. that. So, uh, but I thought it was a really, really good article. It's it's pretty lengthy and it has a really good breakdown. And it, it's a lot of back and forth between asking questions and then getting responses. It's really, really good. I linked it in the chat room. Uh, it, it's great. I definitely recommend you guys check it out if you have any questions or concerns. Boom. Boom. Um, another, another sort of like update <clears throat> was uh, the whole debate on whether or not you should be wearing masks. And yeah. I know this has been a... Well, they're s- still working on this it. This has been a back yeah. and forth topic, and there still really is no real answer about this. Um, but this, again, was another article that uh, was on Vox, so um, which I've actually really been enjoying. So because we do this show every day, you know, a lot of the entertainment stuff that we kind of read about... I don't want to say it's more of the same because that kind of sure. sounds insensitive, but a lot of times it is a lot of this company's letting people go, this company's doing this, this company's doing that. And after a while, it all just kind of blurs together and all kind of feels like the well, same the thing. Well, the sense of time right now, I posted that picture of um, Salvador Dali's melting clocks because yeah. I was like, that's how I feel. Yeah, for sure. So this is another article that came uh, that came from Vox that I thought was really good talking about the evidence for everyone wearing masks. And it's called that's what it's called. Um, but it also does state that like, there is no definitive answer on this. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really a big back and forth yeah. because they're still analyzing and figuring out how much of an airborne transmission you can get of this virus, whether it's a very small amount of time or it has to be lengths of time. So, but the big thing that they do say that like, look, if you are going out to the store and you are going out to buy groceries and you are maybe a little bit nervous about going out, 
then there's nothing wrong with wearing a mask. Sure. You know, you're, it's just an extra layer of protection for yourself. It's an extra layer of protection for the people around you in case you don't even know that you have the virus. But they did say like, it's not, but it's also not the time for you to like buy out every masks because the masks are super important for the medical industry right now. And as we've seen, Tons and tons of companies. I think Lamborghini even announced today that they're making masks for yeah. the, for the medical well, the medical fields. GM was like directed to make uh, ventilators. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think also Dyson has been making. Well, there's also something. so there's been like you know like the president made GM make ventilators, yeah. which is great, and he should do that in my opinion to more companies. Yeah. Um, but then there are also companies who are voluntarily switching over to what they were doing to right. just make more supplies, uh, scrubs for medical yes. people, masks, that kind of thing. Um, I saw a face kind of mask mm -hmm. for the first time this weekend and they were three for about $16, mm. which was very expensive. And these yeah. were not the, um, N95 ones that mm -hmm. are like, uh, you know, recommended for like actually protecting. They were just like the paper, like surgical masks with the loops around the ears. They were six bucks a piece. Yeah, and, and you had you had to like buy that. you had to buy three. And wow. I I was like, well, well, well. But uh, I mean, it's a it's everybody's kind of preference too. I yeah. I think like some people with a mask, they touch their face more. Yeah, for sure. Right, like because you fidget with it if it yeah. doesn't fit well. So uh, be aware of that too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's one of the big things they talk about is like, look, at the end of the day, social distancing is going to be the number one thing that will help sort of flatten this curve. The The amount of time we limit going out for groceries or supplies will also help with that. But if you are in a position where you have to be out, you can wear a mask. It, you know, I know, I think it was a week or two ago, we were saying like, if you don't have it, don't wear a mask, don't bother, you know, all that stuff. Now they're yeah. saying like, if you feel more comfortable, do it. If it gives you peace of mind, do it. Um, you know, and again, you potentially will be protecting the people around you or yourself in case there happens to be a moment where, you know, any drop of liquid hits you in the face. But if you're touching your eye and you're touching your face and your mouth, then like, that's not going to help you. Yeah. Um, speaking of, I, <clears throat> I wore a mask publicly this past weekend when I went out to get grocery yeah. stores because I feel like people are already giving me evil eye because yeah. I'm Asian. Yeah. And I suffer from what they call allergic asthma. Uh, my asthma attacks are triggered by things in the air, dust mites, you know, stuff like that. And so if I have a sniffle or if I sneeze, you know, if you think people are giving me evil eye before, people are giving me double evil eye mm -hmm. uh, and, um, and more. And I've, I've actually made an effort to check in with, like, all my Asian presenting friends mm -hmm. about how is life. Um, and I feel like when I'm in public and I have a mask, maybe I look less Asian. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is like, they are, well, if she sneezes, it won't be on me because she covered her face, you know? Uh, so it, it's, it's interesting time, like racially and tension wise. Yeah. Um, see Ma who plays the, um, father in the new live Mulan. action Mulan, yeah. you know, he started this thing, uh, because, uh, he went to go grocery shopping in Pasadena and he said, this is a nice town. I love Pasadena. And people were, you know, yelling at him to take the virus back to China and yeah. stuff like <clears> that. Um, and so he's, uh, if you see his pin tweet on Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, it's a hashtag actually, you know what? Yeah. And actually you, you brought that up so mm -hmm. I, w I actually wanted to bring up that topic of conversation mm -hmm. last week but sure. it was wash the hate hashtag there, wash yeah the there hate. was like two days where you weren't on the show so i was like well i'm not gonna do it, it unless Malika's yeah here, you but can represent all Asians. yeah i mean like i do no no yeah, yeah. um but yeah it, i i thought that was like it, it's such an important thing to bring up because we live in a fucking terrible world sometimes and you know there are terrible people uh out there who say and do terrible and it's it it's so mind blowing to me when I see these things happening here in Los Angeles sometimes because I, I like to be optimistic and hope that there are more people like us who understand that like, oh, it's not the China virus. Sure. Hello. The fact that that even needs to be explained to people is uh, mind blowing. And the fact that you hear that that term being used on national television sure. from high ranking people uh, representing our country is terrible. Yeah, it's it's extremely scary. Um my mom texted my sisters and I about how uh, people hate us even more now. And, like, I, yeah. it makes me feel very sad that, like, an old lady, regardless of race, has to worry about being, like, punched in the face and stuff. And so if you want to be an ally during this time and you have friends of yours that are close, 
you know, just like ask them how they're doing. Mm -hmm. And like, I have intentionally just asked people, how are they doing? You know, have people been weird around you just so that they can feel like seen and heard because racial like aggression and microaggressions happen all the time. I do this to even my friends who are like, I noticed they're the only person of color at their Mm. job or, you know, they're entering a very like a space where they're very marginalized, that type of thing. And I've heard some awful stories. Um, I have one friend who went shopping at a Vons just south of here in LA and people are surprised. There's a very large Asian population here in Los Angeles and they think like, oh, you know, there's a lot of Asian people there. They're going to stick up for each other. You have a Chinatown and a Koreatown and a a little Tokyo and everything. And uh, he said somebody yelled at him as he was leaving his Vons shopping grocery store, and they said, take your virus back to China. And he's (laughs) good for him. He, He actually turned to that person and said, Don't you ever say anything like that to me or anybody who looks like me. Otherwise, we'll kick your ass and cough on you. Oh, shit. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, God damn. Because I've never, like. That's fire. Stood up for myself like that before. Because especially with Asian cultures where you're like, the nail that sticks out gets hammered down. Yeah. Um, And I was like, fuck. You know? Damn. Yeah. That's one way to tell someone to go fuck I mean, themselves. I was like, oh, oh shit. shit. You know? And this is like kind of, this is my friend. He's like kind of a big, you know, uh, like football kind of uh, yeah. shaped, football shaped. He looks like a football player. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and uh, I was like, damn. But just, I don't know. It's crazy out there. And uh, I think somebody on our YouTube channel Mm -hmm. mentioned this, I think, last week or the week before. Um, You know, I'm not saying that, like, uh, racism is, like, now worse for Asians over other races or that type of thing. Uh, Pain is pain. And I like to use this term. It's not Depression Olympics. Uh, Racism has always existed in this country. Discrimination, prejudice, all those types of things. But just to be like, if if you're, I think, a kind and caring person and you identify as being an ally and you want to do more, Mm -hmm. one of the kindest, sweetest things that you can do is just ask your friends, are they okay? Mm -hmm. How are they doing? You know, there's a lot of um, scary and sad rhetoric out there Mm -hmm. right now, which is must be extremely stressful. And, And that's a way that you can just support your friends as individuals Mm -hmm. you don't have to tweet out hey all asian people tell me about racism or anything like that but just like you know check in on your friends uh because it is a very stressful time yeah you actually bring up a really good point so one of my closest Mm -hmm. friends who i've been friends with for 25 years almost um he's a firefighter down in oc and he's of asian descent yeah and i didn't even i didn't even think about that sure and I wonder, you know, I, I want to, I'm curious to, to find out, you know, if he's gone on any calls, if people have any, given him like d- dirty sure. eye or anything, you know, it's like, it's a, he's a fucking firefighter. He's here mm-hmm. to save your life and you're going to mm-hmm. like give him dirty looks. Mm-hmm. Come on now. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's scary because these are American lives and yeah. now it's just, I did not choose this yeah. appearance, this yeah. ethnicity, this DNA. Uh, but now people have chosen chosen to promote hatred. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, if you are concerned about this or want to learn more, um, you know, that hashtag, uh, hashtag wash the hate. That's kind yeah. of a cool little thing that yeah, yeah, yeah. some Asian Americans in entertainment are promoting right yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, Wolfie Laura, thank you so much for the raid. Ooh, Very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, thank you. everybody. Uh, for those who might just be tuning in, this is Hypercast, our daily podcast show where we talk about just things that are giving people updates in our lives and everything that's happening in the world around us so uh, we've done a great job killing 48 minutes so far yeah <laughs> um so um i don't know if there's anything else to kind of talk. i mean the, i would definitely read the link uh check out the vox article i think it's a really good read uh when it comes to the groceries and the whole mass debate they also have vox has done a really good job curating a very long list yeah. of things related to coronavirus. They cite their sources, which yeah. I like. Yeah, yeah, they cite their sources, and they have a very great ongoing list. Like, it's huge. It's And I, I don't know if it's at the end of every article, but it's been at the end of the articles that I have read, and it's a drop-down, and it yeah. just has, like, a stack of yeah. stuff. And yeah. if you're looking for resources, I think, in my opinion, they're someone that you can trust 
for people who research and source where they get their information from. And then another thing is because the information is changing so rapidly, yeah. reaching out to kind of older generations. I talked to my mom this weekend and I mm -hmm. said, not everything on Facebook you read is true. Yeah. And that may sound very obvious to like people who are social media savvy, mm -hmm. but for people who, you know, have always trusted like, you know, like news to be from a reliable source and it was research and it was cited that kind of thing yeah um and now kind of being at home and being scared being told that they're part of a vulnerable population because mm -hmm. they're older you know that is uh it's been kind of nice to reconnect to my parents i know zach's been talking to his mom i think every day or every other day that kind of thing yeah. to just explain to them that you know, don't like buy into the fear. Don't buy into the racism. Yeah. And just like, hey, we can read the CDC website together and discuss the things that we're learning. You know, we can read the World Health Organization website and discuss like the things that they're advising and learning um, and just check in with your uh, older friends and family members, too, because, you know, they have less access or maybe who knows? I know some grandmas that are very into social media, yeah. but a lot of times, you know, they're not as savvy. And because they they're kind of slower to adopt some technologies, not as connected uh, emotionally, right? So just yeah. because we're, you know, socially distanced, we don't have to be like socially isolated and, and we can still con continue to develop emotional closeness. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I'm going to start uh, texting my mom for some more recipes. Yeah. 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 I keep in contact with my family every day just mm -hmm. to check. My, my grandma is the best though because she always calls around four o'clock even yeah. though I've told her every day for the last three weeks, like I work until about 10. Mm -hmm. So maybe early morning would be better. Yeah. But she doesn't call in the early morning. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to call you at eight in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, just check in with people, check in with your friends, check in your family. I've actually really enjoyed doing zoom little conferences yes. with my friends. You've been really good. You went to a virtual birthday, birthday party. party. Yeah. I, yeah. Did it, I did it right here. Mm -hmm. And we played Jackbox games and it was the, honestly, that kind of stuff, that sort of like community gaming stuff like Jackbox is perfect for yeah this, this type or of come do some watch alongs with us yeah. i think tonight with the complex is going to be oh, super interactive be so fun. yeah and i heard there's a lot of like juicy twists and turns yeah so. i watched the uh, i watched the trailer for mm -hmm. it and then i just read some of the behind the scenes stuff and i looked at the, there's like a whole press packet on their website uh, yeah. as well so it was really cool to just kind of see some behind the scenes uh, inner workings of how they were making that show uh it's 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 pretty damn cool i, I really i think that's going to be a whole lot of fun and honestly you know we watch, I've been loving everything that we've been watching, but I think it's really fun to be able to have an opportunity to mix it up yeah. and do different types of things uh, throughout the week if we can. So, yeah. Speaking of, we're always open to your fad. I'm just like making up long, what's going wrong with me? <laughs> everything is happening right now. Speaking of, we always welcome your feedback to what we're doing here at Hyper RPG. We kind of had a change kind of immediately. Yeah. I know I said this last week. I'll say it again. You know, our mayor shut the city down, mm -hmm. and then the next day we completely changed our content schedule. So uh, we're trying to work hard, improve everything little by little. I hope you're seeing that. I hope you're uh, it's doing well. If we're, you know, if all the camera angles and things that we're doing make it less fun for you to watch, let us know. We love and appreciate appreciate constructive uh, criticism w that we know that that is how you express that you care right so you know in the chat room in the comments on our YouTube videos tweets discord messages that kind of thing speaking yeah. of discord again it's been popping so if you want to just you know self-organize your own games with the Thumper family I know some of you have already been kind of isolated and now it's just like more isolating as this quarantine happens mm. so like you're welcome to self-organize your own rooms organize your own games yeah. whether they be for board games video games that kind of thing yeah and just uh just thump along yeah for sure keep for that sure. heart beating thumper fam yeah uh i let me see really quick there was there was a couple comments talking about zoom and how they had like a 40 minute limit i think one it was lifted it's only for multiple uh, group calls. yeah only for group yeah. calls yeah, yeah yeah um also yeah because i i've uh, all the all the virtual birthday stuff that i've done they've been like two to three hours yeah. long I mean, Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. It might be our host then, because I know she uh, 
She's a consultant, so she probably owns it. Yep. And then uh, I think Discord weeks ago lifted some of its um, kind of restrictions mm-hmm. on uh, size and time. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. I, I, I was uh, looking through, and I know that there's some people who like doing the watch-alongs through Discord, and you used to only be able to do up to 10 people, and now they upped it to 50, which is like, for us, it's still not ideal because, you know, we have over 300 people watching sometimes, so that wouldn't make sense for us. But, yeah, I, I, think, it's, I think it's great that some of these uh, companies are – like lifting a lot of these things off. Um, this is just the new world that we live in. I mean, every yep. single YouTube video or not even YouTube, just any any piece of content that you see that involves more than one person, it's likely a Skype or a Zoom. Yep. You know, so it's like, it's, this is just kind of like the new norm that we live in. So get used to it f- for now. Um, I thought it was th- not necessarily an interesting fact, but I think this kind of goes to show how many people don't watch a lot of content on devices that are not, that are, that are their tablets and their phones, but there was a new rating from Nielsen's that came out uh, saying that U.S. consumers' viewers uh, viewing of streaming has continued to increase through March. Yep. Over the first three weeks of March 2020, the total estimate number of minutes streamed to the TV was 400 billion, Whoa. up 85 percent compared with the uh, comparable three-week period in 2009. Oh. So I mean that to 2009, me. 2009. Well, that's quite. 2019. A, sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. So just um, last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And during the week of March 16th, consumers watched about 15, 156.1 billion minutes of streaming content on television, up 22 percent from the week prior and 2.2 times the comparable week the year before. Which, like, it makes sense. I mean, uh, just for us alone, I imagine the amount of people who are actually using their their TVs to watch stuff. And now with all these, like CBS All Access now gave people, they upped it from 30 to 60 days of free stuff. So I'm sure that like, we're going to see a huge spike in so many of these numbers for how many people are sitting at home watching, watching content. Yeah. The big question is when this kind of, when this thing kind of sustains it sure. and goes back it's to normal. Over. Is that going to hold? Are people going to revert back to their old habits? All right. Speaking of habits, yeah. I think, and, you know, I would love to hear, like, I feel like there's always an expert in the chat room. So whenever mm. I say anything, I know, like, some expert's going to debunk me. So yeah. please do that. Um, but I have heard that it takes 30 days to build a new habit, mm-hmm. right? Wh- whether or not that's true, I don't know. Yeah. And it sounds like we're going to be under quarantine for more than 30 days, mm-hmm. right? So I have been trying to use this time productively and see if I can build back in a, medita- a daily meditation habit or build back in like eating breakfast because I love it. It gives me energy in the afternoon and it makes me happy. Some people I know eating breakfast makes them nauseous, whatever. Yeah. That's what works for me. Um, so I would love to know in the chat room, are there um, new habits that you're trying to build during this time and are there new habits like watching streaming things mm-hmm. that have already just kind of organically happened? Right. You know, like if you live with your children now, have you started teaching more things to your kids because mm-hmm. you're spending more time with them? Yeah. Um, did you, <laughs> I saw trending on Twitter that um, divorces kind of like come up on the rise in China because spouses now have to spend more time than ever. Oh, no. No. Yeah, I don't. And so they're like, uh, that's horrible. <laughs> I, well, I have mixed feelings about this because oh, Zach talked to me about this before, and he's he's divorced, right? Mm-hmm. He, my, I'm his second marriage. This is my first marriage for me, so I, I don't know what it's like to to do, to go through that. And he said that I'm just watching the chat room to see people go what. <laughs> Zach says it's it's great though because it's yeah. like you're getting out of something that wasn't good. No, right? oh, I agree with that. I agree, um, agree and, with that. Yeah. But Zach and I actually had a conversation last night about you know a lot of couples they have a tradition of they go on walks, yeah. and if they own a dog. They walk the dog together every evening. It's a way for them to reconnect, Mm -hmm. to kind of um, grow together, not apart. Yeah. Um, You know, just to just be together. And because Zach is disabled, he can't really walk as far as I can. So I, uh, walking the dog has always been a very solitary thing for me, which is scary right now with the like the atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And just like we're trying to use this time to be like, okay. We're two weeks into this crazy schedule where we've doubled our time streaming. Is there some kind of tradition, even if it's as small as, you know, Zach and I can't go on a walk, but we can go on a walk to the mailbox? Mm-hmm. 
and then do that together even if it's some small thing reevaluating my life and the daily traditions that I want to build mm -hmm. uh so so that is something Zach and I are like working on together yeah. so so we don't end up in divorce I guess uh, yeah, I don't I mean, know like, I, I imagine that's got to be our relationship's not on the rocks guys everything's fine yeah I mean I, I can't even imagine like how tough that it's not about just like adapting to like our new norm but it's also you have to get work done throughout the day yeah if you're if you're somebody who's working from home and that's become your new life yeah how do you balance being now available all the time for work mm -hmm. while still maintaining some some relationship with your significant other and like how do you manage all that and yeah because we're so limited with what we can and can't do what do you do yeah. you know is is every day just dinner and a movie at what point are you like okay i'm going crazy from this like how do you how do you change it up and make it fun you know there's actually a really fun couple i like i follow on uh tiktok they live here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I think they live in Pasadena. Uh, I forget the use. I think it's Dish Rag. They're like the most adorable couple. Yeah. She makes really fun TikTok sure. videos. And uh, it's just like her and her husband eating bowls of cereal late at night mm -hmm. watching movies. And I'm like, cool. If that's like, if that's the thing that makes you guys happy, yeah. I think that's the core thing is finding something that makes both of you satisfied and happy that you think you're going to really enjoy um, with the other person. So like Emily doesn't live here, but like we love going on walks or going if when we can you know we'd like to go out to pasadena to just walk around or watch movies or watch tv shows we haven't been able to do that for the last th three weeks now so it's like you sometimes now i'm missing a lot of that which which kind of sucks but such as life and i'm over here trying to do a thumb war with my husband yeah <laughs> i'm over here like i want to play thumb war with my girlfriend virtual thumb war virtual yeah. thumb war somebody figure it out yeah. Well, it is now 2 p.m., right. which means it is time for Malika to go cook some good food, Bye. some finger food. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We will be right back in the Jiffy and uh, stick around. That's going to be a whole lot of fun that we're going to be playing. Uh, God damn, what's the name of this girl? Huh. Unstable Unicorns. Unstable I, can't, I keep unicorns. wanting to say unfit or whatever. Uh, and then we're going to be doing a watch along of the complex. So stick around. We'll be right back. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Look at that. Bye. Bye.